What's going on everybody? Welcome to GMIS World and today we're going to be talking about some tips and tricks that a lot of you guys have not been either paying attention to or you just don't understand. And yes, this video is for everyone, not only my veterans but for all the newbies as well. Now listen, most of you guys have just jumped in. Some of you guys have been saying, yo GMIS, I'm having a lot of trouble with the new interface. Number one thing I need you guys to understand this kind of gives you like a broader horizon of what's available in Madden Ultimate Team right from here. So looking through all of this, I would take the time to learn exactly what each and every one of these things mean before you even proceed. If you're a newbie, my veterans already know we go and pick and choose. Like for instance, today with the new legends that they released, Jerry Rice and uh, Reggie White, most of us knew what are we going to do? We're going to go in, we're going to jump into the solos that they have for the legends and then we're going to go sell the power up. So that's what I did. So you'll see right here, I completed the Jerry Rice and then I sold him for like 25k. Now you might be saying, wow, 25K for a power up? Yes, you know why it's that expensive? Because now you gotta play full games for it. Because you gotta play full games, most people are just gonna sit back and wait for somebody like myself to go ahead and get that. So this is another tip. Make sure you take a look at all of the legends that come out week to week. They release at 10.30 a.m. Eastern Standard Time on Saturdays. And um, pretty much you just go out there and you do what you have to do. You know what I'm saying? You play whoever the legend is. If you don't want to keep it, you win the solo and you put the, um, you know, you put the power up, up for auction and it's going to net you at least a minimum of 25K. Unless the player is really garbage, you're going to net at least 25K. All right. And Jerry Rice is suitable. He goes to 88. Obviously with Sprinter, you guys can get him up to like 90. I don't know if you guys are doing, you know, San Francisco cam or whatever right now, but you get him up to a 90, stuff like that. So definitely look out for legends week to week to earn ways to get a lot of coins, all right? Now, jumping back to everything else, I wanna talk to you guys about current promos that go on. Usually what it's been looking like they've been doing, um, anything that they're going to release, they're gonna be giving you what's called missions that kind of help you to get some of the things that are involved within it, all right? So when you go into the mission, you're gonna be able to see all the players of the actual promo. It looks like this is what they're trying to do to kind of encourage people to grind the solos. I told you guys this a while ago. I think this is gonna be the first year where even dudes that only buy packs are gonna start grinding because the missions are really, really fun and sometimes you wanna break your controller but you get through it and the benefit is gonna be even more because if you do buy the packs, you also get stuff back for playing the missions. So. These are very, very important to understand. Get used to coming to whatever the current promo is and seeing what's available in missions because this kind of lets you know the names of all the players and ways to earn free players. Like for instance, with the Mutt Superstars, you're going to have the opportunity to get a free um, 89 to 90 overall Nat Superstar. Now, people like me are probably gonna get the 89. You for watching this video might get a 90 because I'm blessing you with my pack luck. You see what I'm saying? So these are free things that you get just for playing the game. Very, very important that you look to missions to know about every single new promo that will be released. I love the fact that they're doing it like that because now if you guys tweet me, I can just say, did you guys look at you know what was available under challenges? Did you guys look? All right, okay, yeah, I should have looked there. Now, remember, there's several other things that are going on, not only the current promo and legends, but you have epics. Most of you guys should have already earned a Baker Mayfield or a Deacon Jones, but if you haven't, get in there and earn them. 86 overalls for playing these, these are minor, bro, when I tell you that they're minor games, you can run through this with no issue. Just clicking next after next after next and keep going. Will you probably raid sell them or put them in the set for the 87 to 88 the way that I did? Probably you would. But if you still need the cards for your team, it's a great way to get started in Madden 20 Ultimate Team. Okay, just getting those free players. And to be honest with you, those were some of the easiest solos that I've ever had compared to everything else that goes on. Coming down to theme builders, some of you guys are like, yo, Jemaya, I really need to get this done, bro. I gotta get these theme builders because they, you know, they're 87 overall cards, they're free, but I just don't have the time to go through it. All right, bro, listen, if you don't got the time to go through it, nobody's gonna force you to do it, but I will tell you this right now. It is ideal to get some of these players at the positions that they are, especially like the left guard right here. It's ideal to get that player in your lineup right now. The only issue that you're gonna uh, come across, which a lot of you guys have been asking me about, Jimaya, do you have to get five stars for every challenge in order to get the card? No, you do not. You can get one star for every single one 
until the last one. Okay, so you can just go through it, just win the game, bam, 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 do whatever, don't do anything extra. Get down to the last one, you gotta get at least three stars. And that's it, you see, I got my three and got off out of there. I got my three, see ya, that was it for me, all right? So just remember that, yes, they're full games, but you do not have to sit through all of the things, trying to do the bonus plays, trying to get the five stars, all that, you do not need to do that. One for each one, and then you go down and you do three for the last one. Now, when you do it with that method, with the one star, one star, one star, uh, most people have been saying it's like three hours, two and a half to three hours if you do it like that, because you go chew clock and you don't care about nothing. Um, again, will you have to come back and get more stars later? You probably will, but for now, getting yourself up and running to be able to compete online is ideal. So I would probably, you know, try to go one star if you wanted to, because I didn't even realize that until afterwards that you could do that one star, one star, one star, and then the last one, you get the three stars and you get the card. So that's a very, very huge thing that you guys should take a look at. For Journey, this is unlocked at level 25, and it's a lot of different challenges that are involved within it that you're gonna get at 88 overall Michael Thomas. Most of you guys do not have high overall cards right now, and it's like, yo, man, I need to find ways to get this. I gotta be able to do this. I understand all that, okay? It is completely, okay, I gotta record a user sack. See, this is gonna be kinda hard, though. What is it, fourth quarter, three minutes? See, these are the things that go on within the game where it's like, yo, bro, are you serious? Because I can send my players and get instant sacks, but now I have to click on to the player to actually get the sack, and that becomes relatively difficult. Even though you see that it's on Rookie and it's on Arcade, the computer will still cheat, regardless, because you're going three stars, and they, you know, they just amp it up, you know what I'm saying? All pro, everything gets wild, and you know, it becomes a nightmare. So I'm gonna give you an example about what you go through in a typical solo. Most of you guys are probably gonna run mid blitz out of nickel. That's been like a regular theme defense to kind of get through a lot of the stuff that goes on. Um, that is something that I would urge you guys to do if that's something that you want to do to get through the solos, just run, just run mid blitz. Nickel, double leg gap. Bro, stay on the safety that covers the running back and you're good to go. The CPU is gonna probably be getting sacked every single play. You don't have to set anything up. You just have to come out, it's man to man and it's a wrap. All right, but with these right here, this is what actually happens. Because of the fact that you have to click on, you know, initially, the computer sometimes will get, you know, it's just weird the way it operates. So you may have issues with this, but I just wanted to make sure that everybody understands that, you know, you could send everybody, what, okay, why is that guy off sides though? Why is, who's off sides? Fumble the ball then. Who was off sides on that? I don't even, is that Von Miller again? Who is that? Let me, let me just see who that is right there. Hold on. Okay, Jadavion Clowney. All right, this dude, yeah, bruh. You, you really out there trying to show me up, bruh. All right, so let me put these guys in real quick just so that I have everybody that I want. And like I said, I could have screamed right there. Um, obviously, I did not. Okay, now, now the CPU is going. Do I have to really see this? I got to really go through the whole thing? I thought I changed the settings so I don't have to see that. Like, it just goes automatic, but whatever. It doesn't matter. All right, let's go. Um, let's get this down. We'll put this guy over here. We got the other guy there. All right, okay. Okay, I tried it. Oh my God. Oh, okay, all right, that's even better. That, that That's even better, man. This game is just, like I told you, bruh, this game right here is enough for you to fly to Antarctica and just start kicking baby seals, dog. Like, I'm telling you right now, all of that stuff that just happened, that's regular stuff that goes on in the game. So when you go, when you go onto the hardest difficulty, just make sure that you're aware of that. Okay, now everybody just got blocked. Okay, he just, okay, he overthrew it. I'm trying to click off to get the sack because I don't want to start off on the player, if that makes any sense, because I have to be in a certain position to make it work. So that's why I'm doing what I'm doing right now. Um, and then, this, they, okay, M Mitchell Jabisky just throwing the ball anywhere. I don't understand why nobody's getting any pressure though. That's what's really weird about it. Like, I'm trying to figure that out right now. Like, why is nobody getting any pressure on this guy? Like, they seriously, nobody's screaming. Everybody's getting blocked up. All right, touchdown. Finally. All right, so more than likely, even with everything that's going on right now, they're going to probably run the ball and try to run the clock out. Scoring a touchdown is not going to be an issue, but this is what I'm talking about. When you go back to the Theme Kings, this is why I tell you, the one star probably would be ideal for a lot of you guys because this is extremely frustrating, and it, it, it doesn't get any better than this, bro. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like... Uh, that's that's a user sack though that's a user sack though we got it we were able to click on and get that he tried to sit there and think it was sweet and we got him all right now what are we going what are we doing here yeah throw okay good play good play hit stick him 
Okay, he's not gonna fumble though? All right, I'm sending everybody. I don't care what happens right now. I'm sending everybody. If you score, you deserve it. Like, go ahead, go ahead, score right here, score. You deserve it. Go ahead, man. All right, take your field goal. Take your field goal so I can come down and score. So those are the type of things that, you know, when you're going through a journey or whatever and you're trying to get the maximum amount of stars, you're gonna have to deal with no matter what the mode is if you're going for max stars. But just to start the game off, I would probably recommend that a lot of you guys just go after the one star. Just do the one star for the minimum for Theme Kings, do the three stars for the last one, get the player, and get your 87 overall. If you're not gonna be playing online head-to-head -head games, um, you know, that would probably be, it'll probably be in your best interest to get as many stars as possible, else you will not be eligible for Muttmaster. That will definitely be a problem uh, for you. Okay. That will definitely be a problem for you trying to get Mutt Master if you don't have the stars. I think you need like 1,500 of them or something. And I'm going to be doing it both uh, both ways. Uh, pretty much I'll be doing the online head-to-head -head gameplay. And I'll also be doing um, the pretty much uh, offline also. So I'm going to be getting you know additional things going, whatever. All right. He should be going for six right there. All right. There we go. All right. So that's fine. I should have just stopped and just took my field goal, though, just so that you don't draw it out. I should have just fell on the ground and set my field goal, but it doesn't matter. We'll go ahead and kick the field goal and, you know, do what we have to do with that. So this is just an example of a hard solo and having to go through all of the extra stuff to get, you know, that additional star. Please don't feel as if you have to do that. After we're done with the solo, I'm going to go briefly and talk to you guys about the store, understanding what's in the store and no knowing how to proceed. I will state again that for all my no money spent guys, this is going to be a very, very difficult year to be no money spent because they're, the training and everything that goes into the game to make your players OP, very, very hard uh, to get it with no money spent. I'm, I'm just pointing that out. It's gonna be very, very hard. Um, I'm trying to figure out ways now, like, yo, what, do, what are you supposed to even do uh, with a lot of this stuff that's going on, uh, to be honest, and I can't really even, uh, okay, man, okay. Th this guy, who is number 80 and why is he able to just move very, very slow and still run past everybody? Like, who is that? Burton? Like, who is this guy Burton just running around doing whatever he pleases, bro? Burning all of my fast players. Like, okay, you got it, man. You know what I'm saying? Like, do whatever you want. Yeah, throw it right here in the middle. Throw it right here in the middle of the field. Okay, fumble the ball then. All right, that, that run-up, that, that's the end of the game. The run-up is good. All right, so look, now that I gave you guys an example of how stressful it'll be for you to go through all that, we got, we got all the stars that we needed, but you guys can see it's not that um, simplistic when you're going through the solos on the hardest difficulty, obviously it changes to all pro and all the other good stuff happens. Okay, so we, we saw all of that. We got the journey, we got the four stars. We got a gold player pack, I guess, for whatever reason, I don't know. Uh, oh, we got we, we probably got a milestone. All right, so for now, should we keep, yeah, we'll keep those for now because I'll probably try to play around with the power up uh, set um, and do that, try to pull a glitchy power up that's going for a lot because power ups are very, very important this year. So I would urge you guys to kind of Make sure you understand what's going on with the power-up. Oh, wait a minute. Before we get away from missions, I wanted to show you um, the Mutt dedication, which is very, very huge. And it shows you how close you are to completing Mutt Master, your Mutt Master stats for using Pat Tillman himself, and also your career stats, which was also a Madden 19, that rewards you with different things as you get like interceptions, you know, career stars earned, all that stuff. You start getting a lot of different things from doing that. So you'll gain different rewards from doing certain things. And um, you know, it tells you on the side how much stuff you have to do. So that also, you know, will help you out. The daily engagement missions, it lets you know, you know, when you're gonna get something at, you know, what daily mission level. Like for instance, when we get to 25, you're gonna get an 82 to 84 overall power up pass. So it's worth it to do stuff like that with your daily missions. Uh, so just keep that in mind. You win two games, you buy a pack from the store. Now, speaking of the store, getting into this, right? When you go inside the store, it's very important that you understand the featured page is going to show what's most current, but that's not all the packs that are available. For instance, right now with the Legends, they're going to broadcast it because they just released new Legends and they're available. But you can always go over to the uh, Players tab and see other bundles that are also available, like the 24 Gridiron bundle, um, the Superstars bundle, which was the previous promo that I just showed you that was going on before they did the Legends bundle. So these are very important things that you should actually look at. Competitive currency, when you earn your trophies, you can use it on a wheel of coins. If you're down on your luck and you think you can make 50K, which I don't think you can ever make, you can go ahead and try your luck there, but EA is gonna definitely just do you crazy. Uh, you can unlock John Madden coach, all right? And then upgrade him by using 1000 training each time. 
uh, the level master, whether he's Nat or he's the Series 1 competitive master, whatever it is, you can work towards that. Touchdown packs, you know, red zone packs or quick sell packs. These are things that you can do in order to help, you know, upgrade yourself, you know, 84 plus overall elite player. If you wanted to gamble with that and see what you can do with that, that's also very, very huge. Okay, so definitely look at those things. You can also use training to get 77 to 78 overall players, the 84 to 85 overall players, your light uniform, your uh, custom playbooks, all these other things are inside the store. Don't forget to check all of these things. What it tells you right at the top when you're when it expires. Okay, so this is available until level 41. Make sure you get it before level 41. It's as simple as that. These you got to kind of watch because I don't want to spend the coins and I don't want to spend the training. But then again, the cards are a little bit more higher value. If you want to see the cards that are in it, you can go ahead and take a look at it right there. But you can always see if it's worth it by looking at the pack and then going inside of the store. I mean, inside of the auction house and seeing if the players are valued higher. So that's just a little bit of a synopsis uh, for what goes on inside the store. And for for instance, Demarcus Lawrence, right? What you could do with him is this. You can go over here, quality, 82 overall. You can go to, um, you know, pretty much, what is he, a left end? And we could check out what his price ranges are and see what's going on because you can see that it costs 10K. So he's going for 17. All right, that might be something if you wanted to get like a quick five five and change because you got to pay tax. Um, that could be something that could benefit you to make an additional 5K if you needed that right now. All right, when you're looking at the other packs that you can spend coins and um, you know training points for. And then as you come over to the sets, which is something that you're gonna have to get used to, this is gonna give you everything that you need to know about any current promo or anything else that's going on within the game that you know pretty much can let you know what you can do with that now this i don't know how you get madden 20 collectibles um but we have to wait to see if they give any information about that i don't know it's eight times repeatable so that'll be there the, this ultimate trainer set that expl that's explained to you in the beginning under missions the exchange set is a great way for you guys to be able to play around and try to get power-ups that are going for a hell of coins right now it's ridiculous the amount of coins uh, that people are spending for power-ups. So if you wanted to do something like this, it would be ideal for you to do that. All right, I don't know why it didn't just let me um, do what I was doing before and just add the players that I want. So a lot of the players that are like 68 overall and stuff like that, you know, the power-ups, they're going for ridiculous amounts. Like, I don't know how much this guy's going for, but that's a decent power. Well, I don't know, because he's a left tackle and there's so many other left tackles, I don't know. But you could play around with that. Uh, for power-ups, you could also, let me go back really quickly and show you the 87 to 88 overall. I pulled Von Miller. I tweeted about it. It's my pinned tweet on uh, G Myers World on Twitter. You can check that out. And Mutt Loyalty is all about the transfers from Madden 19. I've already spoken about that before. So I've already used up the two sets to get my Nat players. I think I probably quick sold both of them for training. And then, like I said, the, the Legends and the Theme Builders, which are your Theme Kings. You get one every five levels. You come in here, you unlock the actual one for the player that you want, and you go from there. The one thing I don't like though, I don't think it shows you the player. You actually have to look, I've been looking on Mutthead to know who the actual players were, but maybe make sure that you don't waste your time and you unlock the player that you actually want, because that'll definitely help you with that. And then, you know, finally with the Mutt Superstars, it's just gonna give you the most current promo. All right, so be aware of those sets and everything like that as you go through so that you know that there's alternate ways to get some of the most current players that are available. Always check your sets on a daily basis. Finally, I'm gonna show you guys a lot of the question about how you activate Superstar X Factors. They are found on the right side of your screen. You would click it once you pay for it inside the player. When you go into your player and you um, you know, you know you add the actual ability, You once you see that it's there and it's on his card in the top right, you would immediately back out and you would go to the right of your screen. Same thing for offense and defense. You would go to the side here, you would click on the name that has it, and then you would just activate it. Once you click it, you would click it again, and then you activate it. Same thing for the defense, and um, that's pretty much how you activate all of your X factors. And remember, it's three on the offensive side of the ball, and it's three on the defensive side of the ball. 
and that should be enough tips and tricks to get you started in Madden 20 Ultimate Team. Please feel free to contact me on Twitter, leave a comment here, Instagram, Facebook, Twitch, all at Gmiles World. If you want to join the PS4 family, we have just hit a thousand and we have been the most searched, one of the most searched um, you know, communities on PlayStation 4 over the last couple weeks. And that wouldn't have been possible without you guys. So we're at 1003. Thank you guys so much for joining me for this video. You can always send an invite. It is private. And you will be reviewed to see if you could join the family. I'm going to see you guys and girls next time. One love.